Hello everyone and welcome to another fine beer key cake project and in today's video as promised from the Instagram posts that I've been putting up we're going to make this solar air heater from two key kegs that's a 30 litre key keg and a 20 litre key keg. So first off is to take a few cans I've collected and prepare them ready to be used inside the solar air heater so let's do that first. I'm going to need about 15 cans plus another five for damage and a few adjustment. So what we can do is we can clean the cans first. So I'm gonna choose just 15 cans. Now the cans don't really have to be of any particular kind, but any old cans will do, as long as they're in obviously non-crushed condition. You can use long cans like this, but I'm not gonna do that today. You may be asking, why are we using Coke cans for this solar air heater? Well, first off, they're cheap and freely available. Didn't cost me anything to collect these from friends. The aluminium is about 0.25 millimeters thick, which is an ideal thickness to collect solar radiation and transfer that heat into the air that would pass through from the bottom of this can and out the top. To basically just stack them all up, create a column, create a chimney, and through pure convection, cold air goes in at the bottom gets heated in the cans as the solar radiation hits the cans through the plastic of the key keg and hot air comes out the top. Put in some washing up with we... And now I'm going to put some holes in the bottom that creates the ventilation hole through the can. And I'm going to do that while these cans are being washed. I'm killing two birds with one stone and then I'm going to leave them out here to dry while we get on with the rest of the key keg. And there we go, we have a hole in the bottom and we do this for each of the cans. Next stage, is we have here the 30 litre key keg and 20 litre key keg. I want to keep the outer on this and get the inner from inside here. So the first one we're gonna work on is the 30 litre key keg. So we're gonna separate this bottom section of the key keg from the upper section. To do this, I want to put a hole in here just to enable me to put the electric scissors to go round and cut but I want to do it in such a way that I want to keep the inner liner in one piece and so not damage it and before we start cutting I'm going to use a marker pen to mark just a line vertically between the upper and lower end section this is so if our cut isn't perfect going all the way around here at least we can get the cut to line up where any wavy lines are by lining back up the marker pen so let me do that first in fact, I'm going to do it in two places, just in case I rub this one off. As you can see here, I've just got the scissors in between the inner and outer liner. Get it started very carefully. It will deform the plastic a little bit, but just be patient. Try and get a clean cut. Now we have the two halves, and this part is mostly done. And later we're gonna put this back together like so. But first off, I'm gonna put some ventilation holes in the bottom of this. Main ventilation hole through from the bottom. So now with the 20 litre key kick, I want the inner part of this. So this is a little bit more involved. So that's the outer section off. I um, don't need these bits anymore, so I'm going to put these off to the side. Now what we're going to try and do is remove very carefully this top cap. Now this is welded on here, and so we have to subtly persuade it to come off. It isn't glued on, so once you make sufficient cut, you can prise it off. But basically we want to keep this because this will then act as the plug for this inner layer to fit in the 30 litre kick outer layer up at the top just like it was a 30 litre inner skin. Okay we've just moved inside for the moment I need to use a vise. So the first thing we have to do is put a cut in here and then go sideways along and lift this edge off without damaging this. 
I'm going to skip past this bit quite fast, but if you want to see a video on how I actually took this cap off very carefully to then reapply the lid, have a look in this video here. So with the inner bag now removed, we can discard this. This is the cap off the top of the 20 litre inner liner. And you can see it looks pretty damaged, but I've tried to do it in such a way that it can go back together in one piece with some subtle persuasion and some glue. With the key kick washed out, I'm now going to separate this into two parts. So with the inner split in two halves, we leave this to dry in the sun. So with some MDF or hardboard, this is six millimeters thick, we're gonna cut two circles, one for each end of the key keg to mount the cans. So we're gonna cut a circle using this cable tie. Designate this part of the circle to hold five cans, so that be facing the sun, and just very roughly, so don't quite touch the edge. Draw circles round so just find out where they probably will be. So what we do now is put hot ventilation holes in each of these. Now to cut out the first circle. So with the first circle cut out, I'm going to apply a chamfered edge to this chipboard. One to tidy it up and two, by cutting in here a, a 30 degree angle, it will sit in the bottom of the curve of the, the key keg better. Now, on the other end, I put the holes in the centre for the holes in the bottom of the can. But this time I'm going to offset the holes so the one side of the circle is going to line up with the hole at the top of the cap. So now that two of these are being cut out, one for either end, we need to paint them in black paint, matte black, and then we put the cans on top. But before we do that, I'm going to apply a wet solution of PV glue, and that will let that dry and that will let the paint stick to the board better than if you didn't use it before. Now let these dry in the sun, then we can apply the paint. If you don't recognize these, these are 220 liter key kegs and I've made them into little plant growths, full with glass lid. You can see it's working, condensation is building up on that. And inside these, I've got some chilies growing. Great for starting off plant. Okay, so now that these are dry, we need to spray them black. And for this job, I have some plastic coat matte black paint. And while I'm letting that dry, I'm gonna apply some radiator foil. It goes behind radiators, reflects heat away from the wall. I'm gonna use this on line half of the 30 liter key keg. That way, when the solar air heater is pointing at the sun, this is at the back, and any heat that is dissipating at the back Hopefully this will reflect it back in to the uh, rest of the key keg and reduce any heat loss. It's marginal, but anything helps. Got here some double-sided tape. We now need a vent hole in the bottom of this. So this hole now lines up with the hole that's in the bottom of here. And later on, when we assemble all the cans, we'll glue this in the bottom. Now we can take our prepared cans from earlier and start gluing them together. So to glue the cans together, I use this plastic heat gun. From my prototype build, I used 15 cans in three rows like this. And with an adjustment can on the end, which we'll go into later when we put it together to see what we need to fill the gap.
now that either end of the can tower ends have been sprayed this being the top this being the bottom we work on the top first so starting off in the middle lining up this hole with that hole just inside the edge So now we need to put this back on here and then we're going to glue and close this up. So now with this stuck on the end, put that back into here, sit snugly back where it should be. This, just going to size it up, it's in here like that, hard push. So we've got to fill the rest of this space with some filler cans and then we can squash this all together. So this is the height of the cans that we've got to now cut. Now a handy tip to round off any sharp edges and allow us to push the can onto another can, which is what we're going to do, is just get the can and just massage it gently. This will allow us more easily to slip the other can on top of the other can. Of course, mind all the sharp edges. Tin can will have no problem slicing your finger. So now we take these and put them on here. Put this on top. This will now line up with those. And we fill up all the gaps. Put this on just to see where it all lines up and see if we've got the right height. So that's with the cans all now sprayed matte black. I'm going to add some radiator foil to the back, minimize loss from the back of the key keg when the sun's pointing this way into the cans. So with some clear markdown tape, I've now added the top half of the inner you know, key keg to the bottom half. There are a few kinks in the plastic and I really thought they were going to fall out once I put the cans inside. But the 20 litre canister is remaining persistently buckled so my tape job to join these two inner parts together has not been as good as it could be we won't change the operation of how this works it just perhaps won't look the best it can be so now i've just got to put the outer on and before i do that i'm going to lift this foil up So that's with the bottom half now fitted to the top half of the outer key keg and we're finished. As key keg stack, this one fits neatly on this one and that hole that was in the bottom of here lines up with the top of the hole that's in the top of here. So effectively doubling up on the solar air capacity of this tower. So we've made it even more efficient. Now I've got a digital thermometer here and if I look at pointing at the ground it's reading 28. If I come around the back in the shadow 18.5 and that's where the air is being intaken at the bottom of this particular key keg to then travel up and come out as hot. So it's been out here for a few minutes now and let's see what we get at the top and that's reading 40.1 it's very very subtle as in you wouldn't think that you were doing much at all but you can feel moist hot air let's try that again 42.2 i'm just going to show that if it disappears i don't know if you can see that there So there you go, an ideal project for a key keg or two. You can make a third one and stack it even higher, make it even more efficient. And these didn't cost much to make. A few cans to collect, a few hours spent just sticking it all together. And there you have a room passive solar air heater. So if you'd like this project and want to see more like this or have any ideas, add them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think I could do with a key keg. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. 
if you want to see more videos like this and be sure to not miss future videos be sure to turn on notifications hit that subscription button keep well keep safe and i'll catch up with you guys next time now i must go inside and put some sun cream this is actually not bad for scotland hope this carries on